This Quest 3 controller has a grip button that mechanically functions but isn't registering in the headset. Trigger issues and grip issues are super common in the Quest 2 and 3 controllers, so I want to show you guys exactly what's going on here and how you can fix it. In the case of the grip button on the Quest 3 controller, there's really two components that make this work. The first element is the mechanical portion of it, so the plastic and the spring mechanism that actually makes the arm come back into place so that you can press things down. Now on the inside of this controller, there's no button that the side grip actually presses. Whether or not the grip button is depressed is based on this little Hall effect sensor, and the sensor is triggered by the magnet here that sits on the spring arm. So knowing that this works mechanically, that means that there's probably something wrong with the sensor, or maybe the magnet's out of place. But to know for sure, we're gonna have to open it up and take a closer look inside. The first thing I'll do here is take off the faceplate, go ahead and take out our screws with our T5 bit, and then once I've got the screws out, I can just start to take these shell pieces apart. And would you look at that? Just like we suspected, that magnet that should be living here to help register the input of the sensor found itself a new home. It really looks like it just came unglued and then got attached to the closest piece of metal. Fortunately, this is a super easy repair. We're gonna go ahead and take off the rest of the grip assembly here and our magnet. And we're gonna put some fresh glue down to better hold this in place. And then we can just put our magnet where it belongs. Now that I've got the magnet in the right spot, we can go ahead and partially reassemble this and retest it in the headset. And just like that, our grip button is working again. And now that we know it's working, we can just put this back together. Leave me a comment to let me know if you've ever had grip button issues on your Quest controllers and if this is a repair that you'd try at home. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more VR related content like this.